Welcome back to the Gravity Rush Remastered Speedrunning Beginner's Guide. This is going to be episodes 16 and 17 of the Debt Route. We're going to be playing through 16 and 17 because the game won't let you save in between. It's going to put you in 17 as soon as you finish 16. Alright, so first we're going to look at our gem count. Negative 16 gems, so we're almost even again. We have, neg we have 7 gauge, 4 kick, 2 stasis, and 4 typhoon. So when you finish episode 15, the game is going to instantly put you here, but it needs to autosave before you can start 16. So what we're actually going to do during the autosave is we're going to be picking up all the gems that are right around here. And then as soon as we get those, we're just going to kick in, talk to Sienya to start 16. So episode 16 is all Nushi 2. And the interesting thing about Nushi 2 is we're going to be using Black Hole for the first and really only time in this run. Because Black Hole is this weird property with Nushi where if you break his gem, you hit his gem and you break his bones. At the same time with Black Hole, the game will instantly kill his gems. And his gems have a lot of health along his back. The closest one to his head takes seven kicks. The one closest to his tail only takes one. So we're going to be trying to kill as many gems um, along his back as we can with one Black Hole. Okay, so this cutscene skip coming here is going to be when Raven turns blue. So right now. And what we're going to do is Nushi's going to be coming up kind of right in front of where we're facing. He's going to be coming up at us. So what we're going to do is float right in front of him. We're going to use Black Hole, and he's going to run into us, and we're going to break as many gems on his back as we can. If we get an ideal Black Hole, there should only be one gem left, and all we have to do is kick it once, and then we'll kill all the gems on his back. Uh, you'll see his health bar start chunking down as we select, as we um, correctly kill all the gems. Okay, so we're going to Black Hole. There's the first one. Push in a little bit. Okay, I think we got it. Now we just gotta take the last one. Okay, so all the gems on his back are dead. Now we're gonna use this time to pick up gems. So start off with these gems right here, and then we're gonna pick up the gems right here. Let the gauge refill. So you have a lot of time to collect gems in this section uh, without really losing time. Basically, once you get Black Hole back is going to be when Nushi, uh, when Nushi starts rearing up his head to expose his final gem for the end of the fight. So we're just going to pick this up. So the gem root here actually isn't really that crucial. You're just kind of going to kick what's in front of you. Um, because at this point... You, as long as you have enough gems to upgrade gauge to 8 and you have at least like 200-ish left over so you can get stasis 3 and 4 at the end of episode 17, that's really all you need. So we're just going to upgrade gauge to level 8 and then that's all we're going to need for right now. I'm just going to let my gauge completely refill. You also can have a little bit of gems left over to upgrade health in case of emergency. Um, if you don't already know, if you upgrade health, then it does fully heal you as well as give you the additional health, so it's kind of an emergency health potion. Okay, so you see he rears up his head basically as soon as he gets Black Hole back. And then we're just gonna RGK and we're gonna press triangle to finish, and that's gonna be that fight. So this cutscene skip is gonna be when it switches back to Cat and she looks back at Dusty. And then we're just gonna mash options in this section, and the game's gonna take us right into episode 17. <clears throat> So, episode 17, also known as The Ascent, is one of the most challenging chapters to do consistently fast. It's pretty long, um, and we're going to go through each of the fights. First, we have to clear the first gravity storm up here, so what we're going to do is we're going to kick, and we're going to gravity pump all the way up, just because it's going to take so long to get there that you actually can't make it there in one gauge usage, even at level 8 without gravity pumping. But we definitely don't need another level of gauge. That's all we're going to put into gauge usage. So we maxed out gravity typhoon, we maxed out gauge usage, and we maxed out um, gravity kick. All we have left that we're going to put points in is stasis field, and then potentially health if you need it. Basically we just need all the enemies to spawn, and then we're going to clear the wave with one typhoon. might need to fix the golem. If you have a little bit of time, you can grab the 25 there, but it's not a big deal. So once we clear the first gravity storm, we're just going to kick up here. You want to stick along these 25s. You need at least, by the end of this episode, 1,200 gems to get stasis level 4, which is a requirement that we're going to need for uh, 
taking on episode 18 where we need to grab all the sensors. So you can skip that set of 25 there. Now we're going to have a letter fight. The guy is going to spawn right here, so he's always going to be there on your left when you're kicking straight up. <laughs> so we need to pick him up. And then we're going to be coming up to letter fight. Right here is where the thing is. Okay, so before we start letter fight, first thing we're going to want to focus on is there's going to be a walker, there's a pufferfish in the back, there's two spinies and two swordfish. What we're going to do is we're going to kick the pufferfish, that'll aggro the spinies, and during the spinies like attack animations before they become vulnerable, we're going to try to RGK the walker down as quickly as we can. Then we're going to kill the spinies when they're vulnerable, and then that should be right around the time Gravity Typhoon comes back up. Uh, it might come back up earlier for me because I'm explaining this, um, but it should be right when Gravity Typhoon comes back up and then we'll use it on the swordfish. Alright, so we're going to put Hover in the back, that'll aggro the spinies, then we're going to kick the walker. Okay, we're just going to kill these spinies while they're vulnerable. Actually, no. Ah, I didn't get him in time. That's why it's important. Okay, well it's fine because we'll be using Gravity Typhoon, it'll aggro him, kill the swordfish while we're waiting on him, and then we'll just kill him. Okay, so that's letter fight. Pretty straightforward. You want to focus on those spinies when they become vulnerable, unlike I did, because then you'll run out of time. Um, and then you're just going to gravity type them. Right? Okay, so we're going to keep kicking back up. So basically, we're just going to follow the path of gems here. Make sure you don't auto-target the swordfish. Once we get up to this set of swordfish here, you're going to want to fast fall so you don't auto-target any of them. You might get hit by the last one. I probably will right now. Yeah, but um, you won't get hit by any of the other ones. They just kind of miss you. But you also have health that you can grab right in the center right up here. So that'll just heal you from what you lost. And then I can just grab the health right here. Oh, wait. Okay, so this fight... I'm going to pause real quick. This fight is called the Ascent Fight. It's also one of the most challenging fights in the entire game to do consistently. There's a lot of swordfish, puffer... Um, there's a couple puffers, and then there's the orange dragon here. So you're definitely going to need your gravity typhoon for the orange dragon. And you really need to be careful about not getting gravity typhoon cancelled here, because it will cost you a lot of time. Also, these enemies deal a lot of damage if you have level 1 health, but again, remember we can use health upgrade in order to fully heal ourselves in case of emergency. Um, so what we're going to do is focus on the puffers first, just kill the stationary enemies while we're waiting for Gravity Typhoon to come back, and then we're going to Typhoon the dragon and as many swordfish as we can, and then pick off the swordfish at the end. Okay. The swordfish will always drop blue gems, and the puffers drop health, so just be aware of that. And the dragon will always try to auto-target and shoot you if you get close, so just be careful. I'm going to kill this swordfish to try to attack me. So these are orange gem swordfish, so they're going to be pretty annoying. Uh, they take a couple more kicks than the swordfish that we're used to so far. Oh my gosh. We're just going to be fighting these until we get Typhoon back. Okay. Okay. So make sure that the dragon is not actively shooting at you when you use Typhoon, because he can gravity Typhoon cancel you, and it's really, really annoying. Okay, so all we got left is this. Okay, that was a decent ascent fight. So my gem count's totally fine here. Again, I grabbed a bunch of extra gems in uh, episode on the way to episode 12 that I talked about, so that's totally fine. Um, as long as you have, again, above over 1,200, that's all that you need. And there's so many gems that are in your way during this episode that you're definitely going to have an abundance. Alright, so all we're going to do is upgrade Aces Field twice. And then once we get to this cutscene trigger right here, that's going to be the end of episode 17. The cutscene skip is going to be right kind of when the cardboard boxes pass the left of the screen, the little triple cardboard boxes right there. I'm going to skip the thing, and then here we are. We're at the end of episode 17, so it's going to start uh, the last kind of section of the game. All right, so again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and uh, I'll see you all in the next episode.